In today's video, we're gonna cover online forms and online form builders and how we can use these in our website, sales funnels, and landing pages to capture more leads and grow our real estate business. And I'm also going to cover the different uses for online forms and what are my top picks, both free and paid for online form builders that are easy to use and require no coding. So let's get started. Hey everybody, it's me, Jacob Sharman, your real estate marketing expert. I have over 15 years of marketing experience specializing in web design and SEO. And I take that experience to help you grow your real estate business. So if content like this is of interest to you, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release real estate marketing tips. And also if you're interested in joining my group here at eXp Realty inside of Agent Wolfpack, go ahead and click that book a call button below. And I'd love to show you what that looks like and all the resources we provide. So let's get started with today's video on online forms. So what is an online form? An online form is just basically an interactive website that allows users to enter information and then stores that information for later review or use by the person requesting it. So we've all had interactions with online forms. We've probably used them every day, whether you've purchased something online, provided your shipping address and credit card information, or maybe you registered for a website, an account on a website and you gave your email address and password, or maybe you um, downloaded a free resource and you gave your email address and cell phone number to get that link. So we've all had interactions with them. It's pretty much the only way to capture leads and to get information from a user. Now an online form builder is something that is building the form, allows you to customize the form. It's basically a user interface that allows you to put the different types of questions that you want answered and how you want the user to interact with that. So that's what we're gonna be discussing later on is what are the best online form builders that you can use in your real estate business. All right, now let's talk about the different uses of online forms. There are so many uses, the possibilities are limitless with online forms, but really think about your day-to-day -day business needs and the information that you need to capture, and that will let you know whether you need an online form. So one of the ways is to capture leads. We can do this by having them register for an event or a webinar. So maybe you're gonna do a first time home buyers webinar or a real estate investing webinar. This is a great way to capture that information and then automatically import it to a spreadsheet or your CRM or database. You can do a newsletter sign up. You can also do um, for all your lead magnets that you have, your buyer's guide, your seller's guide. Maybe you have a saved search result to a link of homes under you know, a certain price point, upcoming open houses, just listed, coming soon houses, whatever it may be, you can use that to capture the information and then send them the link. And then obviously that information, we're gonna wanna get that into our CRM. Another thing you can do is for your daily kind of office life, work life of information you need to capture from your clients or your employees. So one thing that I do is I have a client intake form. So before I meet with a client in our buyer's consultation, I have them fill this out. And it just basically captures all of their information, their current living situation, when are they looking to move, do they have a lender? Are they pre-approved? What's their budget? What's the pre-approval amount? Upload some documents and then ask them the entire search criteria for the home they're looking for. So that saves me time and plus it's easy to access in one place where all of my buyer's intake forms are just right there easy to access, and I don't have to send the same questions over and over again. You can also use this for inner office, so maybe you're onboarding a VA or an employee, you can use this to capture information that you need from them, or maybe there's something that they fill out on a regular basis, you can create a form for that. And I also use this in my personal life, so if I'm gonna go on a trip or organize a party, uh, and I need to get information from users um, or people attending, I'll send them a form, create it for that, so I don't have to deal with a thousand emails coming in. They literally just click the link and fill out the form. So there's so many uses. Really analyze your day-to-day -day business life and then write down all the information you're collecting and see if you can turn that into an online form. All right, before we choose an online form builder, we need to establish the criteria that we need with the different types of information we're collecting. Because even though all form builders can collect the same basic information, 
but each one has their specialty that they were designed for and built on. So some of the questions you want to ask is how easy does it need to be to create an online form? Is it easy for the user to give their information? Because users don't like to fill out forms, especially long forms. So you need it to make it easy where they can just quickly answer the questions and submit the information. And also how easy is it for you to access that data given and to review it, analyze it, maybe make some calculations, export it, you know, how easy is it to access that data? Also, you need to ask yourself, how do you want your user to fill it out? Are they gonna click a link and go to the form builder's website or landing page to fill out that form? Or do, does the form need to be embedded into your website and look as a part of your website um, that the user is gonna go to? Also, do we need it to be compatible with Zapier for automations to maybe collect, take that information collected and put it into our CRM? Also, uh, what are the type of questions we're asking? Um, you know, the different type of fields we need. Do we need conditional fields? You know, so if they select yes to something, you know, do you have a lender and they select yes, then a form field pops up to put the lender's name. But if they select no, then obviously we don't need to ask that question. Are you collecting payments? Do they need to upload files? Does the information you're collecting, is it sensitive? Does it need to be encrypted? So all these questions need to be asked before we choose the right form builder. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to share my screen and share the top six online form builders, both free and paid that I recommend you use and which ones you should use based on the type of criteria for your business. All right. So one of the first ones up is Google forms. It is completely free. You just need a Google's account. It's very basic. Pretty much. These are the answers that you're going to get. There's not a lot of, um, data validation, um, just kind of the basic where you can do, make sure that they entered an email address and they didn't enter something that's not an email address, but these are pretty much what you're going to ask. You can create as many questions as you want, set it as required. And then you would just basically share this form with people by sending them an email, giving them a link, or you can embed it into your website. It's just not as responsive and, and attractive as the other form builders out there. And then the entry saves in a Google um, sheet as well. And so this is Microsoft Forms. It looks the same as Google Forms. It's just their version of Google Forms. So um, you do the same way and it stores into an Excel spreadsheet. So this is another free version. Um, if you have maybe an office account, you'd rather use this instead of Google. Another one is Wufoo. I used to use this in my beginning days as a web designer. Uh, Wufoo is great. Um, you basically can customize this however you want. You kind of drag and drop. Um, you're able to build the form, choose a theme, um, put in your custom branding as well. You can collect all kinds of types of data, payments, file uploads. You get real time notifications when somebody submits it. And then they have a nice user interface to look at each entry and you can edit the entries as well. You can do workflows. Um, it integrates with a lot of different applications like Zapier, Asana. So any type of deals when somebody fills out the form, maybe it needs to create a task. You can do reporting, all of that stuff. So Wufoo is a great one. They do have a limited free version, but it is paid. But most of these, they're not very expensive per month, especially if you pay the yearly price. Um, they're not expensive at all. Typeforms is an interesting one. This definitely breaks the feel of a normal form. As you can see, as it's scrolling through, it's basically more conversational. Like again, would you buy that lipstick? Uh, get 10% off by entering your email um, and you're selecting. And what it does is it shows them one question as a t at a time, as if you were just asking them a question. Sometimes when a user seen, sees a long form, they'll be like, oh, I don't have time for this. I'll do it later. But if you just ask them question by question, it's like having a conversation with them. So they do have a limited free version as well. But you can see all the different things. These can be embedded into the website. And there's all kinds of logic too that you can add like conditional formatting as well. The other one is paper forms. This is actually a very interesting one as well. This one looks more like a landing page, more like a website than it does an online form. As you can see, as it's going through, um, as far as I can see, there's only a trial part of this one, but it's very easy to create questions. You can make a design, you integrate it. Again, it looks more like a landing page than a website. 
And then for your techie kind of geekier people, there's more customizations that you can do. But if you also are not super tech savvy, this is another great thing. And again, you can send them to a, um, a form that just looks like a web page. So they're entering their information and enjoying their experience. And the last one on the list is JotForm. This is one I particularly like to use if I'm gonna use an online form builder or instead of you know embedding a form into my WordPress site, using a plugin and hosting it myself. I do like JotForms. The great thing about a form builder is, especially if you have different types of forms that are on different websites and landing pages, you don't have to log into each one to see that landing page or that, or to see those entries for that form. With Jod Forms, they're stored in all in one place. You can organize the forms into folders, you know, if you have different departments. So this is really nice to, to get it. And what I like about Jod Form is one, it's highly customizable as you see. It looks more kind of like a landing page as well. It's very nice. You can customize it to your branding, but the different questions that they ask as well, they have so many integrations, so many apps um, that you can see all these different integrations you can do with MailChimp, Dropbox, Zoom, PayPal, uh, Google Calendar, Google Sheets, Slack. You can do Zapier as well. And then they have all these other products too. They have apps, um, JotForm tables, report builders, PDF editors. They have everything you really need. You don't need it. And it's very inexpensive as well. And they do have a complete free version. I think you could use like five forms as well. And the reason why this one is so popular as well is they have lots of different templates. So as you see, they have form templates, card form templates, um, store builder templates. So if you need to build some type of store, maybe you're gonna sell a guide or something you can use the different um, the different form builders or form templates that they have. And then you're just editing the form with your branding and the information you wanna ask, but it's pretty much laid out for you. So JotForms is a great way, um, no matter your skill level, to have a very good looking um, online form and to collect them in one convenient space. All right, so I hope this information was helpful. You really should be using online forms to really up your lead capture game. And if you haven't watched my previous videos on how to capture leads through your website, funnels, and landing pages, and my other video on how to capture leads through social media, go watch those videos. I'll put them up in the card above and in the description below. So go check those out so you have a fuller understanding of what the lead capture journey looks like. And this is a great way to make sure you're capturing leads growing your real estate business so you can turn those leads into clients and those clients into deals. And if you're looking to get more training and resources like this, um, be sure to book a call with me and look at what it takes to join my real estate group here at eXp Realty inside Agent Wolfpack and all of the free amazing resources you get to grow your real estate business for free and no extra cost or split. And also, if you'd like to see more information like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a like and hit that notification bell. And also, if you have any questions or any um, trouble you're having on choosing, drop them in the, the comments below as well. And if there's any other training topics you would like to see, drop those in the comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me with my contact information in the description, and I will see you in the next video.